Welcome back, Volcarona fans, to week two with your boy Sunflygon. Uh, on the back of our 5 0 win in week one against Kenneth and the I could not tell you their names, uh, we are up here. We are up here in uh, week two against uh, Tacbro to send up. A uh, very capable battler uh, and a good a good person as well. I'm good friends with Sender. He has a lot of potential uh, in battle. And we actually haven't somehow come against each other in draft leagues before. We're often in different divisions and stuff. So I'm looking forward to this one. I haven't had a lot of time, admittedly, to prep for this one. I haven't done any tests or mocks or run this by anyone else. So, yeah, we're just going in uh, fresh here. Um... First things first, let's take a look at the matchup here. So, last week he got a win against Phoebe, the um, Peaceful Piplups, I believe is their team name. Uh, a very close one or two, well, it's two nil, I can see there. So they're equal third, one nil, uh, one and O oh with a two, a plus two win, and we're sitting equal first with a plus five win after week one. Um, from memory, I believe it was uh, Rotom, Gligar, Roaring Moon, uh, Iron Crown, Arbolivia, and Lycanroc, I believe, or maybe Fezendipity. Um, if Descender's got any thoughts like I do, it's definitely going to be a different looking team this week. Um, I do expect to see the uh, the duck for starters. I think, given how I played last week and the impact of Sticky Web's Aria Dose uh, setting it up for Broloom, I think that being his only hazard removal, I believe, in the form of Rapid Spin, uh, I think that definitely has to come. Uh, Lycan Rock will probably come as well. The priority rock move is quite good against my team. Um, the Olive is definitely annoying and a very good counter to Basque Legion. Um, I'm also, well, I won't spoil my team just yet, but, you know, there's a few things I'm not expecting to come. I don't think the Pawn, Pawnyard is going to come. Um, I don't think the Rotom will come, although it's actually quite good against the team I've brought. Um, I feel like the threat of Rain and Basque Legion in the Rain, um, Overquill also gets water moves, weather ball, um, killer watch was also a massive threat to Rotom. I don't think that will come. Uh, Roaring Moon, surprisingly, is another one that I don't see coming. Um, I just think there's a lot of things on my team that can trump it. Um, but who knows? Um, this, this should be a good match. Uh, I don't have any obvious sweeping potential things like we had last week with Breloom. Uh, there's been some talks, some mind games leading into this match. Uh, Tessender is quite wary of the Breloom. So, with that said, let's jump in and take a look at our team here and see what we're bringing. Wow, no Breloom. Crazy, right? <laughs> uh, first up, we have... Uh, actually, you know, let's let's address the elephant in the room first. Broloom's absence. Yes, the Victorian Volcarona had a good win last week on the back of Broloom or Skippy's uh, six kill performance. Unfortunately, a little injury cloud came out of that match. Uh, Broloom sadly has a. We we were very fearful. It was an ACL injury, but it's it's actually just a slight meniscus issue in the knee. So, you know, we're hoping it's only a one or two week injury. So, fingers crossed for Skippy that he's back next week. But you know, in his absence, that just means we have you know more opportunities for the rest of the roster to step up in his absence and uh, you know perform. So. Everyone in the comments, if you could wish Skippy a speedy recovery, that would be much appreciated. But anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's have a look what we've got here. We're rolling with Remy again. Oh, I have not nicknamed these and my teams are locked. That's... That's bad. We have one nickname. Damn, I've just noticed that now. I wonder if I can nickname them while locked. I don't know. I'll find out after the video. Anyway, Remy. This should be Remy. 
Uh, the Basque Legion actually holding a choice Scar here. It will outspeed everything that isn't Scar on um, to send this side, including the Spectria. Um, but it has Flip Turn, Last Respect, Psychic Fangs, and Wave Crash. Ice Fang is another thing that I was definitely considering here for the Olive Branch, but it actually just doesn't do enough, and I think I'd rather try and Flip Turn. I mean, it, the reality is we might do some hard switching out of if we're up against the Olive and then it can leech things up. The Olive is actually a pretty big problem here. Um, but, you know, hopefully that thing goes down before Rami hits the field. Um, yeah, those moves hit just about everything else, I believe. The only last respect switch in is that and... Uh, let me have a quick look here. What resist goes? Uh, that and actually Roaring Moon's not a bad counter either to all this. Honestly, I'm probably going to be flip turning a lot. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Scarf adaptability should do a lot. Um, yeah, on to our next one. This is one of our two Terra Captains here. Terra Steel uh, Yasail. Yasail? I don't know how to say that name, I'm sorry, with the heavy duty boots. Uh, we do have Rapid Spin in the team, but just to play it safe in case the hazards get up, you know, we've got this here. This is a good chance to potentially sweep. Uh, there's a few things I'm expecting to come, including the Spectria, which this could set up on. Uh, Quivenance, Ice Beam, Giga Drain, and Terra Blast Steel hits most of the team. We just need the Rotom gone, and also the Iron Crown if that decides to make an appearance. We have Overquill here, should be Mrs. Puff, but it's not because I don't know how to nick them apparently. Uh, Black Sludge. Um, we have Barbarage, Spikes, Throat Chop, and Pain Slip with Intimidate. This is kind of just the, the wall of the team. Uh, a lot of special defense as well. It's very bulky, max HP as well. You know, if we can get some hazards up, I think at plus one Quiver Dance, uh, Frost Moth does about 90% to the duck with Giga Drain, so some chip on that would be really nice. Uh, pain, slip, pain Split to annoy and Barbarage if we can get some poisons on something, that's fantastic. Uh, we move on to our next one, which should be uh, Tremillionaire, because they see me rolling. Um, Expert Belt actually does matter here. I was tossing up between that or the Energy Booster, but I ended up going with this because I could be switching in and out here, especially um, for the Lycan Rock, I don't know what Terra it's going to be or what moves it has, obviously, but this could kind of potentially wall it. Um, I, I presume it's going to have close combat, so maybe not, but we'll see. Uh, Ice Spinner, Earthquake, Knockoff, and Rapid Spin hits kind of everything he has. Uh, very diverse move pool. We're going to be going for super effective hits mostly. Um, we have Diancy with the Trick Room, actually. Meteor Beam, Power Herb. Uh, Earth Blast and uh, Earth Power and Moon Blast. Um, super bulky and super special attack orientated. Uh, should do a lot of damage here. I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, should be Margo, but uh, not nicknamed. Um, anyway, Salamence. This is the one I kind of wasn't sure about. Terra Fairy, in case that Rotten Moon comes, we can kind of just sit on it and set up. Uh, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Dual Wing Beat, and Substitute with Intimidate. Uh, this probably could be Moxie, but Intimidate allows me to set up the Substitute on a few things. I may even try and leave this if I see the Gligar, um, just to stop, you know, Toxic. If he wants to throw up Stealth Breath, great. I'll just uh, drag sub and then set up a few. Uh, it's pretty attacking high attack, so... You know, we'll have to wait and see. It probably needs to get two, maybe even three Dragon Hancers up to actually beat a few of the bulkier things. But, you know, fingers crossed. Um, I'm pretty happy with this team. After after this match in the 12, after 12 rounds, we will have played 10 of our 11 roster. Uh, only Grapperai uh, left to make an appearance, which, you know, could be next week. I haven't had a look at it yet but um yeah looking forward to it so uh sit back i will stop the recording here and we will come back when the match is ready to start so yeah 
Welcome back, everyone. Um, we're about to jump into this match here. Uh, to send a tack bro is uh, ready to go. So, yeah, we will let him know that we are searching and we're about to jump into this. Cool. Nervous. Always those pre draft game jitters. <laughs> majestic, majestic Raoul is here. Okay, we have Lycanroc, which I have been told is Terra Flying. Uh, Gliger, Spectria, Spectria, I don't know. Pheasant Dippity, Quackle, Duck, whatever. I'm just going to call it Duck because I don't know how to say it. And the Olive Tree, uh, Bolivia. Um, okay, so like I said, the Duck is coming because it's his only hazard removal, I believe. I think it's a pretty safe lead to go. I can either go Salamence or Overquill here. Expecting the Gligar lead. I might actually go Salamence. What would be bad if it's Salamence? Hmm. I don't think he'll lead the dog. Pheasant Dippity might be annoying. But I can just sub on it and then go out into this event. Okay. Let's go for let's go for Salamence and we'll see if we can get a substitute up. Um, hopefully against the Gligar. Spectria is probably worst case, and I'll have to do some thinking if it's um, Lycanroc. Okay. Um, yeah, let's jump into it. Good luck to Sender. Uh, he's just messaged me. He's very happy that there's no problem. Um, like I said, injuries happen. Sadly, we've suffered one week one, but uh, hopefully Broloom's back next week. We will see. I haven't looked at the matchup at all, so tough to say. Oh, look at that Rowlet. That's cute. All right, let's do this. Hopefully we see a Gligar. Big bird. Okay. Now, he knows I'm Terra Fairy here. I think he's just getting U turn. I'm actually going to set up a sub. I think. If it's Scarf. It still hasn't killed me. Okay, let's. Let's go for a sub. I think he's going to U-turn out, which shouldn't do much. In fact, it shouldn't it shouldn't break the sub, and we'll be in a good spot. Okay, so we are faster. He's not Scar. U-turn. Taunt. That's fine by me. Okay, so we can't Dragon Dance up, but... Uh, we can Earthquake. It goes into Gligar, that's just... Let's just Earthquake, yeah? A bird that's weak to ground is hilarious. He should go into Gligar. He should. But he may not know if I'm special or physical yet, so there's that. Okay, so I should write this down, so this one's got to one. Okay, so he probably will go out to Gligar. Yep, it's totally fine. We'll see how much this does. I don't think this is going to do a lot to it, admittedly. Maybe like a quarter? Oh, I should have the health bar up, actually. There we go, look at that. Uh, I can't go for Dragon Dance, but I can go for Dragon Bait. Let's just see how much it does. We'll learn a bit about it. Oh, I did nothing. Oh, that was a crit too. Okay, so this thing's like ultra defensive. He goes for dueling bait. Don't break it. Damn. I'm surprised that... Okay, it actually does every time. Okay, so what's our switch into this? It's probably... 
Alright, that's well. I think it is over for all, yeah, and we'll put up some spikes. If he earthquakes, good play. <clears throat> but even that shouldn't do a lot. I think he's going to probably set up some hazards. Oh, good guy for Earthquake. Good way to send that. Nice. Would that do 62 out of... So about a third? That's about right, yeah. Um, we can go for Spikes. Let's go for Spikes. The dark, okay. Now the dark. He's making some good plays here early. Good on him. Um Gotta go into basket legion right? or even this. Ice spinner though. I'm gonna go into basket legion and press flip turn thing. I don't think this thing can do a lot to basket legion. Let's go into basket legion. Again, I don't think this thing can do a lot of time. Okay, I'm just to do 40, so about 20%. Okay, so it's... Eh, might not be super. Uh, Psychic Fangs... Actually doesn't do a lot, surprisingly. Uh, let's flip turn. Let's flip turn, see what he wants to do. Okay, perfect. So we've got some momentum here. And the spikes are still up, which is nice. Rocky helmet. That's fine. It's not Rocky helmet. How bulk is this thing? Pretty bulky. Uh, Frostmoth, yeah? Yeah, I think we go Frostmoth here. Or even Overquill. Or even this. <laughs> Let's go Frostmoth. Um, hopefully he doesn't. Um, Leech Seed. I mean, he should be scared of Ice Beam. Because Ice Beam... Oh, actually, it's... Okay, maybe Ice... It might live an Ice Beam. It does about 88%. Oh, I can kill. He should be scared of this, and it would be always switching as... Which I'm not sure. Maybe the dark? Let's just go for a quiver dance and see what happens. Hopefully no leech seed. The fact he's thinking tells me it might not be leech seed. Perfect. Um, he could be in trouble here. Like, I don't know what this thing does if I'm Terra Steel. I'm definitely faster now, so I can just press that again. 
That's Terra. And Quiver again. Resist both stabs and taunts fine because I feel like two quiver dance is probably all I need here. Ah, uh, so that's gonna confuse me. Okay, he's going for the axe. Uh, let's Terra Blast. Should do a lot, I think. Honestly, I probably need to hit myself at least twice in a row for this to matter. I may have got Brady going for that, but I needed it in case there's a Scarf. If that duck is Scarf, that's why I needed that second one. Come on, break through. Come on. Nice. That should kill. Perfect. Okay, so the bird's gone. And Frostmoth gets his first kill. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. Lingering, isn't it? It's been like a week and a half. Wow. Not COVID though. Did some tests. It's definitely not that. Hmm. That reminds me. Based on him. Okay. This is the this is a big move here. Close combat's definitely gonna kill me, but I just need to break through. I just need to break through. It actually might not kill me, it's about a 50% chance. Oh, you gotta go for it. Let's go for it. Don't, don't, don't hit yourself, please. Damn, that's, the hacks is here. <laughs> oh, I'm still faster. Still faster? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still faster. So as long as we break through this confusion... As long as we break through this confusion, we should be good. Let's go for a quick bigger drone again. Yes, perfect. So, Frostmoth gets another kill. And we're almost back up to full, probably. I don't know why he didn't close combat there. I think that's a little greedy on to send us part. Uh, close combat with the confusion hit would have definitely killed. Uh, I think he might struggle now, though. Because I can just spam Ice Beam and that should probably kill the rest. Okay, the horse died. I mean, I don't know what this thing can actually do to me. Um, Ice Beam should kill anyway, so let's just go for that. Oh! Scarf. Now I'm only at plus one speed. Uh, Frostmoth gets another one. Uh, that's the wrong Lycan Rock, isn't it? That's Dusk. Is that Dusk? I'm pretty sure he's got a Dusk Lycan Rock here. That's Dusk! Anyway, it's fine. 
Doesn't matter, but I think that's a dust block. <laughs> uh, regardless, Frostmoth gets its fourth. I don't see this ending. Gligar and Arbolivia, yeah. I think this is GG's. It's just Ice Beam again. We got, I mean, I wouldn't say we got lucky. We hit ourselves one out of three. No, one out of two. And then we broke out of confusion. Um, Alluring Boats was a good bring, though, for sure. Um, he probably identified this being a threat. I'm really glad the Rotom and the, more so the Iron Crown didn't come. Rotom, I feel like I had plenty to deal with it, but um, Iron Crown, if that got going, may have been a bit of an issue. But nonetheless, uh, this is a, he's a good player, um, and this was an unfortunate loss for him. The uh, Frostmoth just did really well against his team after two. Um, after two clever dances. But um, if you've made it through to this video, uh, in the comments section, please let me know in honor of Tessenda, who is the coach of the New Orleans Chandelures. Um, let's go to the base evolution, Litwick. Um, you can either tell me your favorite scented candle that you would get a mother or a girlfriend or that you would want to receive yourself. Or alternatively, in honor of Mystic Growl, you can tell me your favorite breed of owl, or both. Just at me in Zoo General in the server and just tell me one or both of those two things. No context, I'll know. Um, but anyway, good game to Sender. Uh, Frostmoth did well in Breloom's absence. Um, but yeah, on to week three, where I have no idea who we play. <laughs> Something for us all to look forward to. Um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.